What is up, everybody? Mikey Dare Panzer with the Great War mod. Uh, we're playing as Germany, and we're trying to rebuild everything. Um, and I mean, like, everything. So, yeah, we're just getting all kinds of military factories and some dockyards, too. But um, let's get... Get some more military factories up and running. And we're not really going to worry about this defensive line, but... Yeah, this is good. Okay, so we, we're, we're just working on that. We uh, got some more Marines, so we're going to train those up and maybe invade the United Kingdom because all kinds of divisions got pumped into the Western Front. And that is a problem. Um... Also, we have a lot of air experience, so let's uh, see what can we do. Um, let's let's uh, make the albatross pretty good. Just two all around, about three all around. Reliability at five. Can up the engine, down the range. Engine to max. Let's do that. Let's um, and let's decommission this one and re up you to that one. There we go. Oh god, the game's moving slowly now. Oh, now it's speeding up again. I'm just wondering if we're hitting some performance issues. Oh, holy shit. Um, Austria Hungary is actually doing somewhat decently versus Italy. I think Ludendorff's guys can, uh... I think we can do something different. Ooh, Dreadnought 3. Let's pause. Dreadnought 3. Okay. Let's see. It's 1920, which is kind of not ideal. 1918... Could start getting light stuff, but I don't want to have to produce it yet. Um, we're getting all of that. Getting all the ships, although. We're getting the naval doctrines. I mean, I just bumped a lot of experience into that, so getting the next one. Not the best idea. Engineering. Industry. Alright, so now that's really until 1922. Um. Could research the DR1, although we're probably not even gonna build it. So I say we should go. Military police isn't gonna be helpful. Let's go with the uh, Marines too. There we go. Cause nah, eh, let's do light cruisers. Like cruisers. There we go. That is what we will do. New Mongol Empire has capitulated. What? Oh. The the Soviets ate someone else. Uh, what's new? Okay, so what was I gonna do with you? Okay, yeah. Let's um have you kinda come here. And take Bordeaux. Ooh, Finland uh, took over Finland. Or Red Finland died. Is this the one that we like? Well, they don't like us. Why? World tension. They don't like us because they're democratic and we're, like, causing this whole world war thing. So, yeah. Not, uh, not exactly their favorites. Okay. Production of field guns and all of that. Okay, new dreadnoughts are cool and all. But we don't need any yet. Like, how much production do I need to actually, like, fill this... To fill that need? 194 days. I mean... I guess we just need more production efficiency? I don't know. Are our divisions like too heavily equipped? 
So many questions. So many questions. Um, Austria Hungary seems to not be advancing, but also seems to be holding their line, so that's good. Ottomans are trying to attack. Greece aren't really doing it. They're kind of killing this little pocket of resistance, except the British have landed in Lebanon and Israel. Oh, and it appears a bunch of divisions are cut off at the Suez. Although they have a port, so I guess they could survive with the port. Um, how are my colonies? Okay, these are effort. So that, what does that do? That gives um, research to both the cruisers, research capital ships. I do want to go down these eventually. Don't need more manpower. Maybe we should do this and give the Ottomans some manpower. Um, rearmament. It'll be worth it to um, get a military factory, so we will do that. Speaking of political, we're at war economy. Okay. What if I go total mobilization? That just helps military factory construction speed. Although it does reduce consumer good factories. Yeah, that, that's not going to help us. We need stuff that increases factory output. Like just raw output. Um, they say we're good for an offensive. But I mean, we, we just don't have the equipment. We don't have enough equipment. It's so bad. So... I do want to start producing planes again, or like at all. Let's bump you down. Fighters are more important. Um, how are the Marines coming? They are coming along quite well. So, we'll go to speed five. Because we need, uh, we need this. So that'll be gone sooner rather than later. We're building a lot of military factories. Although I might have to dump another one into support equipment. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go speed five. Because, I mean, we need, to, <laughs> we need to get through this stuff. Like, we need to actually do stuff. And I am building a lot of, uh stuff but I mean we need support equipment support equipment and field guns support equipment like we can't leverage our manpower because we don't have enough equipment so it's always fun let's militarize the Rhineland what could possibly go wrong when we do that Everyone will love it that we remilitarize the Rhineland, right? And while we're at it... Get as many dockyards as possible. There we go. So I do think we are ma like maximizing the... Um, military potential of our <laughs> of our nation except for the new Polish territory which we could start to build in if the need arises but yeah I mean uh, our heavy why are we running on heavy artillery all of a sudden but come on dude I'm just solving one problem don't give me another one Jesus Christ, we need the we need the new interface from Death or Dishonor now. Like this is just getting this is getting out of hand. I'll let the factories build so we can actually get heavy tanks and fighters and all that, but we need probably need another line of support equipment. Okay, we can stop you. Everyone but you. Get assigned. 
take the railroad, and only two of you can be assigned to this. Because we can only launch a naval invasion of ten at a time. But what we should do is have the rest of the marines ready to just jump across. Jump across the channel. Yup. So. Uh, nine days. So we're having a bigger and bigger heavy artillery shortage. Son of a bitch. Full rearmament. There we go. Details. Army experience and political power. Yeah, we're not doing fascist Q. Sorry about that. Reorganization Act. More military factories. The better. Okay, so got the got the other Marines deploying, which is good. Um Wait, is the reason we're getting more of those is because mil Marines require I think it's because Marines require heavy artillery. I don't know, I'm not gonna dump too much more into it unless I need to. But the field gun's good, we need a lot of those. Infantry equipment, I mean so we have a just surplus of ra random types of military equipment. So, that's fine. Um, ooh, more dockyards. We have free dockyards. Um, our submarine force got absolutely decimated, right? 13. Let's get some coastal subs. For the coastal subs. 13. Um, so what will this? This will put them at... 20, 30, 40, oh, 30, uh, what's their capacity here? 40, 50. There we go. Get more submarines. <laughs> Let's try this again. Okay. So everyone is doing fine. We, we got the Gotha. Um... I seriously think that the ahead of ahead of time penalty is worth it. So we're gonna do that. I mean, it's less than a year that'll take. So there we go, the Gotha. Good old, good old plane. Classic World War One bomber. Um, doing fine here. Logistically. We're doing okay. Again, we just need we need more we need more support equipment. But at least we're gonna be building fighters and all that again, so I do wanna get some production into all of this. So let's let's get more Galthas. The Eindecker, we only need one line of. And heavy tanks. We need a full line of heavy tanks. And a full line of heavy artillery. Light cruiser. Nice. Oh crap, did our bonus that we just got get... <sighs> we just got, we just did a national focus for a bonus for a light cruiser. We didn't have anything to do. Okay, let's actually, um... We'll make it a little bit better. Reliability engine let's do it let's decommission but then upgrade you to like cruiser 3 31 days of production that's fine not ideal but okay let's just not do that And for you, okay, so what national focuses do we have for naval stuff? Under sea boat, capital ship. 
Yeah, we're just gonna ignore naval stuff for now. Let's um Let's get like what can we get? Um What's the ahead of time? This that'll take forever. Uh da da da, da. more artillery. Could get a lull tractor or the K wagon. Or the suppression. I mean this stuff is ahead of time, but we also have bonuses for it. Let's go for it. Trench mortar. Trench mortar. We have a heavy armor division. Oh boy. Oh boy. Coordinated fleet move, that's good. Powerful battle fleet raid. Nice. So I'm thinking we're gonna do our little our, our little invasion of the UK. I'm thinking that's a good idea. We have a, a lot of a big shortage of all this other stuff. So I think I'm gonna switch the heavy armor into these divisions. Move armored cars into the infantry divisions. And then <clears throat> create a new infantry division. I think that was my plan. If not, it is now. <laughs> okay, so. Almost have a full fleet here. Um, what are these? These are eight battleships. We could make the reserve fleet into his own fleet. I think that's what we'll do. No, what we should probably do is repair our Asian fleet. Should probably also unpause the game so it can run. Considering, like, our biggest struggle is, like, finishing everything off. Okay. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So. War of Movement. So can I get like get some of these now? Ooh. Trench warfare, mass assault, spear five power. Is this trench warfare? This is cult of the offensive. I think it means the other three. Mass assault. Mobile Grand Battle Plan. Grand Battle Plan is Trench Warfare. Um, I really like Superior Firepower. So we're going to go down Superior Firepower Doctrine. You know, we haven't exactly um, figured out how to use this whole Blitzkrieg thing effectively yet. So. Wood. We're good with that. In terms of oil, yeah, we'll trade with the Soviets. There we go. Okay, so that is actually all the time we have for this episode. Um, we still have a bit of a deficit of equipment, but I mean we're building, we're building a shit ton of factories. Um all over the place so hopefully that works out and hopefully i will see you all in the next episode until then this is panzernator signing out see you nerds